Good morning, everyone. Scott McLeod here. Currently Sunday, October 10th. Woke up at 172.6 pounds. I need to make some coffee. <laughs> How's everyone doing on this fine Sunday morning? Welcome to a brand new video, Road to First Show, episode nine. My primary objective in this episode is to provide you all with a physique update and to explain to you why we're using the phrase cultivate tenacity for the giveaway. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to tune in to all of the Road to First Show episodes. They're always linked in the description box below, along with the details for the giveaway. But the secret phrase, if you've been following along, Long, we now know is cultivate tenacity. So I'm gonna explain why, and I'm gonna give you all a physique update. Sunday morning, off to a powerful start. I've been really enjoying my Sunday mornings. Clean slate, fresh mind, ready to tackle those objectives for the week to set some goals for the week, to absolutely get after it. So I reflect on how things are going each and every Sunday morning. I get up nice and early, make some coffee here in the comfort of my own home, enjoy multiple cups of coffee because if anyone knows me i'm a caffeine fiend i love my caffeine multiple coffees throughout the day comment down below are you a fan of coffee how many cups of coffee do you consume throughout the day but anyways hour of cardio today gotta do some posing provide you all with a physique update check in with my coach fill out some of the spreadsheets and some of the other details that i have to send back to him when i do check in with him setting the mind right for a successful week hope you're all off to a great start let's get after after it this week. There really is nothing like that first coffee in the morning. So why the phrase cultivate tenacity? Well, when I was in college, I had a professor who said it is wise to take the totality of a definition of a word when considering that word's true meaning in the context of literature. In other words, if we look at the word tenacity and take all of its definitions, we come to tenacity, the quality or fact of being able to grip something firmly, grip, the quality or fact of being very determined, 
determination, as well as the quality or fact of continuing to exist persistence. Now, there is more to this. I have read Jim Quick's book, Limitless, and I do have the book right here. So Limitless by Jim Quick, all about the brain, brain health, brain science, the functioning of the brain for you to unlock your exceptional life, live up to your true potential, and learn anything faster. Great book, highly recommend. Read it twice, cover to cover. That's neither here nor there. What I want to point out is that during both times reading this cover to cover, one one passage in particular stood out both of those times. It happens to be on page 100 of the book. Now, to give us some context really quickly, he's talking about seven lies of learning and dispelling some of these myths. One of the myths is learning new things is very difficult, and he dispels this myth very nicely in the book. I encourage you to read this entire book. It really helped me. But that passage that stood out to me is, the key is consistency. You must have the patience to consistently come back at it again and again. When you do, you will not only reap the rewards of your hard-earned knowledge, him speaking in the context of dispelling that myth that learning new things is difficult, so not only reap the rewards of your hard-earned knowledge, but you'll be a better person for having cultivated the tenacity to keep trying. When I read that, it really stood out to me. Now, I want to use this in my own context for this entire Road to First Show series. If you made it to this point in the series, I really appreciate you. Thank Thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. And this series was about a whole lot more than me stepping on stage for the very first time. This was about the commitment. This was about stepping outside of your comfort zone, doing something that you've always wanted to do, yet never pulled the trigger to do so. And it doesn't have to be bodybuilding. It doesn't have to be fitness. Whatever you want, go ahead, go out there, get what's yours, and do the thing that you truly want to do. And live that life that more closely aligns with what you are passionate about. So when I read this book back a little while ago at this point, that passage stood out to me, but I want to use that passage to inspire some of the most motivation behind this Road to First Show series. So cultivate tenacity. Just know that it's not always going to be easy. There is going to be roadblocks and obstacles. You might run out of money. You might run out of energy. You might run out of resources. You might hit a wall and not know where to go next. These obstacles, these roadblocks, they're going to be present. And it's not always going to be easy, but I encourage all of you in your unique endeavor to continue cultivating the tenacity to keep trying. So be sure to comment that phrase cultivate tenacity on a future Instagram post. I'll be sure to specify that post so you're not going to miss out on this. I'm going to specify exactly which post it is. It's going to be a future post, most likely going to be a picture of me up on stage or multiple pictures of me up on stage at the Summer Shredding Classic. Be sure to leave a comment, comment anything you would like to comment, anything at all. I would love to hear from you. Include the phrase cultivate tenacity, put it in all caps so I know that you've been watching this Road to First Show series and in this video here. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the very next video.